So um, the idea is where along the spectrum will the final temperature fall? If the masses are equal, which I think they are, yes, then what is the only other thing to determine it? Specific heat. Yeah, it's going to be specific heat. Now, the question is, if your specific heat is bigger, right, then does that mean you're going to win or does that mean you're going to lose? Okay, so if we, let's, uh, let's go ahead and look it up. These two are going to start out at different temperatures. Will the common final temperature be closer to the initial temperature of silver, iron, or nuclear material? Okay, so which one's going to win? Yeah, this this kind of makes sense to me. Yes. Yeah. Right, because if they're both the same amount of mass, and like if they had exactly the same specific heat, what would happen? what would the final temperature be? It would be exactly in the middle, right? But then because the silver takes more heat to raise it one degree Celsius, then everything's going to tilt towards the silver. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. No. The iron. The iron. Because the iron <laughs> has a higher specific heat than more of the heat. It's kind of like they both have a certain amount of heat. So um, it's sort of like, oh, I know, it's like this. Does this make sense that the the hot the, the high temperature heat stuff is gonna flow into the, the stuff that's cold? That statement doesn't really work. Mm -hmm. So I should have said something like this. Right? So from the the hot thing, stuff's gonna flow into the cold thing, right? And the difference between these two, the delta T. If their two specific heats were equal, then the delta T would just be divided in half. But because, like maybe, uh, because the this one, the iron has a higher specific heat, it takes almost like two to one. It takes sort of like, kind of like, it takes two joules to heat up a little tiny bit of iron, the same amount it takes to heat up one, like two joules will heat up an iron one degree, whereas two joules will heat up the silver two degree. Does that make sense? I'm not gonna keep that. If you have a question about that, yeah. What if their masses were different? How would you do it? See, then, then it's not. You can't really come off the top of your head and say that. You'd have to do the calculations. What, what formula would you use? Oh, I would just use uh, um, MC delta T, right? Q is MC delta T, and then the final temperature would just be the one unknown. Okay. Good question.